All right, to all my renegades out there, today we're going to be exposing these three grifters. We have Sam Cedar, Emma, and we have Nomika Const. I don't watch her show because she hangs with people like this. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to look at this is the guy that they defend. This is Jink, right? Now, I want to show you this. Now, they, they, they're defending Jink and they, and they go against Jimmy. But in this video, Anna says that Jink is making her uncomfortable. And then he first he asks her how uncomfortable is this making you, and then she says it's very uncomfortable. And then then he says then he says this is kind of perverted. Now she says very perverted. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna look at this video where her and Jimmy are sitting there talking about vibrators together, and she's not uncomfortable at all. But let's go to this first. Come on, how uncomfortable is this make? It's making me really uncomfortable. Oh, that's a lot. Watch out. Yeah! <laughs> Do it just so I can hear them go. <laughs> Look at that pervy wanker go. Oh my god, this is going to be huge. <laughs> a little scream or whatever is just, or yelp or whatever it is, is making it worth it. God, how pervy is this I with know, the cheerleader? I know. How much of this video are we going to watch? The whole yeah, damn yeah. thing. This video goes on and it gets even more disgusting. But can you see that? She, she, Anna's like, he's like, how pervy is he? She's like, I, I don't, like, she, she doesn't want to watch this. But now this is the guy that she says sexually harassed her. Now look what she's talking about. She's, she's actually talking about vibrators with Jimmy. It's the late 1700s, okay? And so, uh, the very first vibrator was powered by steam, which is fascinating. Here's uh, the information. The prevailing method of powering uh, machines in the late 19th century was by using steam. An American doctor named George Taylor used it to make the first steam-powered vibrator in 1869. So before that, um, I, I guess I said late 1700s, but before that there were other gadgets, but they weren't really considered vibrators. It wasn't until steam-powered vibrators came about that the doctors started utilizing them and helping women with their so-called hysteria. And by the way, the reason why they called it hysteria is you uh, help me get off. Yes, come on in, I'll help you. It's crazy. and. Uh, yes, they called it hysteria, where's that, where the term hysterical comes from, right? Which yes. is kind of, if you think about it, it's a little bit sexist. I do sometimes. Yeah, like you're mixing eggs to make a cake or something. <laughs> now, now, look at that. She's laughing. They're laughing. They're joking. They're, they're having a good time. Look at this. It's amazing. And look, it was considered a serious medical issue that you need a treatment for. It's yes. like, hey, you need this gadget. You're suffering from hysteria. And I love that the doctors had so many clients in any given day that their hands literally got tired. They're like, we need something... Yes, that was a real Look, thing. I wanted to come back so you could see that smile. Isn't that crazy? That you go, I mean, I'm sure, boy, I, I, the medical school enrollment must have went way up for guys way back then. With women coming there, hey, can you uh, help me get off? Yes, come on in, I'll help you. It's crazy. And uh, yes, they called it hysteria, where's that, where the term hysterical comes from, right? Which yes. is kind of, if you think about it, it's a little bit sexist, right? And the uh, doctors gave the hand job. The first ones were... were but before that there were other gadgets but they weren't really considered vibrators it wasn't a, I'm trying to get they didn't know why they were feeling this way and they'd go to doctors and doctors like this is non-sexual we're just gonna diddle you and you're gonna feel better <laughs> it's amazing look at that smile look at that's why I kept going back I was trying to find what she was really look look at that smile look at that oh look at that and she's having fun with Jimmy look at this yes, that was a real thing. Yeah. isn't that crazy that you'd go I mean I'm sure boy I, I, the medical school enrollment must now look at that smile. Now, now let's come back over here. Now look at this. Come on, how uncomfortable is this make? It's making me really uncomfortable. Oh, that's a lot. Watch out. Yeah! <laughs> the funny thing is, look at that pervy wanker go. Oh my God, this is going to be huge. Yeah! <laughs> a little scream or whatever is just, or yelp or whatever it is, is making it worth it. God, how pervy is this I with know, the cheerleader? I know. How much of this video are we going to watch? The whole yeah, damn yeah. thing. Now, look at that. Now, now, Jake, he's he's the boss. She couldn't make it through three minutes with this pervert. Look. She's like, oh, this is disgusting. How much is this we're going to watch? This is, oh, my God. Now, look at this. Jimmy, 11 minutes. 
She she was with Jimmy for eleven minutes, and she's laughing. And, and within the first two three minutes, she's laughing and smiling. With 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 Jake in the first the first minute and eight seconds, she's totally disgusted and repulsed by him. And and these these um these neocon grifters, neo lab grifters, whatever you want to call them, look what they attack. They attack Jimmy. Jimmy harassing Anna. Harass guys, guys. Wait, does does this does does this look like somebody being? Look at her. Does that look like somebody being harassed? Right, not right here. This this is somebody. This is somebody who's uncomfortable here, sitting here with this pervert jink who says that this is perverted. He said, "How perverted is this?" And look, and they all the and look at look at this cuck. So, You just tried to humiliate, you just attempted to humiliate her in front of a bunch of people. Maybe we're laughing because it's uncomfortable. And then he says she felt bad because she was humiliated as if he hadn't done it. As he, if it no, he literally said, I humiliated her. He just said, I humiliated her. Now, we just saw Anna having a wonderful time laughing and joking and having a great time not only laughing she had a smile on her face she was enjoying the conversation she was actually getting into it she was giving the history of vibrate vibrators